Well, well, well. It's a stinky bandit stealing our cat food. For shame, little stinky bandit. You little stinker, you. The possum was out here a minute ago. I've tried to record the video. I've went three tries now. And they say third time's a charm. But you know, they also say three strikes and you're out. So, I don't know, man. But yeah, no, the possum was out here. And I took that new flashlight that my in-laws sent to Katie and... I shined it on it for the camera, and I scared that little sucker away. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not looking at the skunk through the camera. I didn't know it wasn't on him. I can zoom out. There we go. Because, yeah, I'm looking at him with my eyes. He's so cute. But, anywho, the, the video that I just recorded, I don't know if... I'm not quite sure if I said the main, the main talking point, the main, my main point. What is he doing, hmm? Huh? Um, anywho. Yeah, I, I was talking about how people need to go get the vaccine. Yes, don't click away, don't unsubscribe. You know it's true, you know you need to get it. We need to get out of this stuff, out of this funk, because um, by not getting it and going and saying, oh, you don't trust the government, well, you're, if you're saying that, you're also one of the people that are saying that, you know what, here, where'd that stinky bandit go? Let's see if my audio is okay. Hold up. All right, let me, let me tell you about what I've been saying, okay? And that's a straight up magnet, okay? I'm not magnetized, okay? This shit doesn't even hurt. Nobody, none of us got sick. I, I live here with a church goer. And he has not got sick. And, um, yeah, they, my skin has not melted off my fucking legs, so, yeah, even J Station can fucking show it. Okay. All right. Mm hmm. Now, this is not, this is not a political fucking issue, okay? That's not. Okay. It's a global issue. And, um, yeah, we're, the, we're losing. <laughs> you know, okay, the, the same people that say they don't want to get the vaccine because they don't trust the government, those are the very same people that say that the virus came from some iffy lab in China. Yeah? Right? Okay. Stay with me now. Don't just just hear me out. Don't unsubscribe. By not wanting to trust the vaccine that our government came up with here, you're saying you rather trust that if you live in China. I mean, that, that is what that's saying. Right? I mean, is it not? It kinda is. It kinda is. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I mean, our government don't even want to share that shit. Our government don't even want to share it. With, especially with China. 
And why wouldn't I mean you can get it you can get it for free. It's free. Just just go do it. It doesn't even hurt. Why why risk infecting your whole neighborhood? You know, because look, look, not only is it airborne, which is, you know, why we wear the mask, but it's able to lay on surfaces and spread like pink eye. <gasps> Surprise! That's what makes it so incredibly contagious. Okay? And, 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 and seatbelts and car accidents ain't fucking contagious. You know, I mean, some of the fucking things people come up with for their comparisons, they don't, they don't even compare. And two don't compare. That's like when they want to go and put their fucking religious beliefs up on the same scale as their political views. You can't, this shit don't work. You can't do that because, you know, politics affects everyone. Whereas your, your religion only just affects you. So, you can't, you just can't, but, um, hang on one sec, let me look, check if this stinky band is making no problem, I hear something here, my step, it could just be a cat, I don't know, anyway, where was I, let me see, no, I, I don't I don't talk about politics on my channel though, you know. But this is not this, the the virus is not a political issue. Okay, so I will talk about it. And the fact that I'm sick of it, the whole world is sick of it. And, and believe me when I say, you know, ain't no one more sick of it than us. And I'm for real on that. I mean that on everything. <laughs> I I am I'm so tired. I I am literally tired too. I gotta get up for the squirreling brigade in the morning. If you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button down there, man. We have a lot of fun over here. You wanna forget about your woes for the day? You can come see some cute little squirrels. I got hundreds of videos of just pure cuteness but then there's all of their videos too i also have videos where i'm bitching about something and lately it seems like there's always something to bitch about and i felt this seems worthy of bitching you know I i'm sick of wearing the mask i'm sure you're sick of wearing the mask i know my husband and my well, my daughter Maria, she's okay either way she actually sits growing she it's grown on her. <laughs> she does she don't mind it. She wants to hide her face. I guess she's got the low self esteem her mother's got. But um Yeah, no, there ain't much more to say, man. People gotta people gotta get that vaccine. Just just go get it. It don't make you marry the tide. And there ain't no microchipping, you know. I mean who would pay for that? Your your cell phone does that just fine. You don't need no microchip plants. And who would pay for that? I mean, honestly, you guys are always saying that. People are always saying that. Who's going to pay for it? Who's going to pay for it? Well, motherfucker, who would pay for billions of little itty-bitty microchips? To go planting in people and putting them in these syringes that idiots won't even accept so that the shit that's in this shit just expires. Rather than giving it to a country that desperately needs it, you know, to get the shit squashed, they, they let it expire because people here are still just not doing it. They can't make no sacrifice. Not even... Not even to wear a mask. They can't make any sacrifice. They didn't want to sacrifice even a simple month during a shutdown. That's why we're dealing with two years of this bullshit. They can't, they, they, they might as well be a draft dodger. I mean, right? 
Doesn't ain't, ain't you supposed to be on our side? <clears throat> ain't you supposed to be on our side? Right? Come on, America. Get with the program. Come on, you guys, please. How how many more people have to pay? And please don't unsubscribe. I, I'm I'm pretty sure that with a title like what I'm probably gonna use, I'll probably gain more eyes, maybe. Hopefully I gain some new subscribers. I don't know. We'll see. I got the swirly brigade and the stinky bandits over here, and they're pretty great. Okay, okay, and I think everybody should know about them. All right, you look at that that guy, the raccoon guy. He's got thousands. I think actually, I think he's got hundreds of thousands. Is he up over a million? I don't even know. But where he get all those subscribers? Where's all those animal lovers? I know they like the Squirrely Brigade. I'm sure of it. How could they not? And I've recently found a new critter here at the peanut butter house. And it's like a woodchuck. It's a chuck him with the chucker. He's chewing up my house. Chucker. Mother chucker. He, or he's a groundhog or he's a gopher. I don't know. You can you can watch my other videos and you can see. You can, you know, it, it says what is it in the title? I don't remember what I. New critter at the peanut butter house. Yes, go go. Comment below. Tell me what you think that thing is. I don't know why am I pointing in the middle of the camera. I don't know why I'm doing that. The camera's in the corner. There you are. I'm tired. I am so tired. And there I got a stinky bandit over here. Yes! The possum is back. No shit! Look! I don't want to scare him.